My first guest is a singer. She's 41. <laughs> 24 years ago, <laughs> she was working in a shoe shop in Kansas City. One day, a man came in and asked for a pair of size 8 turtle green platform shoes. As she slipped them on him, she started singing to herself. The man said, I won't have these shoes, the bridge is too low and I've got wide feet. Those are his actual words. <laughs> they don't fit, he said. But your beautiful voice fits your face like a slipper. I'm going to make you a star. That man was Neil Sedaka. Neil's not doing so well anymore, but she is. <laughs> She's the biggest singing sensation in America, except for Barbara Streisand and Liza Minnelli. She requires no introduction, but uh, nevertheless, please welcome Gina Langland. Oh dear, I've got an extra kiss for free there. <laughs> not, uh, not that you normally charge. <laughs> now, uh, now, Gina, you, you can't stay long because in 40 minutes' time you're due on stage at Earl's Court for the closing night of your sellout concert tour. Mm -hmm. It's been wonderful, Alec, you know. I mean, I just had no idea that I had so many fans. Well, why did you book Earl's Court? It's massive. <laughs> Well, because it's just a wonderful venue. Yeah, it is, it is. They, uh, they do the Ideal Homes exhibition. <laughs> I, uh, I nearly opened it uh, last year, but uh, I was pipped at the post um, by Dave Lee Travis. Yeah. Ag <laughs> again. <laughs> Who? Who, yes, exactly, that's what I said, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Now, Gina, it, it really would be great if you could stay a little bit longer. Oh, you know, I'd love to, Alec. I'd really love to stay for the whole show, but I just can't. <laughs> Well, we don't actually want you to stay for the whole show. We just, <laughs> just want you to stay uh, a, a little bit longer. I mean, we have got other guests. We've got Hot Pants. They're on later on. Stay tuned, fellas. <laughs> I just want you to stay for a little bit longer. Please. Well, I'd love to. I really would, but I'm late as it is. Please. I just can't. <laughs> Please. No, I can't. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we have four minutes, Alec. Right, Alan. Four minutes. Okay, now, Gina, you're such, such a busy bee, aren't you? <laughs> hmm? Buzzing from flower to flower, collecting cash pollen in, uh, <laughs> in the sacks on the back of your legs. Um, <laughs> not, not literally, not literally, that, that would be hideous. Um, no, I mean, I'm think, I mean, if you're a bee, you know, what I'm trying to say is, you, you're so, do you ever get a time to relax? Do you ever get time off? Alec, you know, it's funny you should say that because tomorrow I begin a month's vacation. Oh, lovely, where? Barbados. <laughs> I'm, I'm going there at the end of the month. Really? I'm, yeah, I'm doing an advert for uh, Spunt. Uh, it's, uh, it's a new uh, tropical fruit drink from, from Germany. I thought you weren't allowed to advertise on the BBC. I'm not advertising. I'm not, that's illegal. I'm not advertising. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm simply saying that I'm doing an advert for Spunt, the uh, new tangy tropical fruit drink <laughs> in Germany. Not advertising. And what do you have to do in the ad? Uh, pff, well, basically, I, I'm on a beach and I lie on, lie on a hammock, um, sipping Sprunt, and uh, surrounded by half-naked tropical dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? Uh, they're called Hot Pants. We've got them on the show. They're <laughs> <laughs> on We're on the show tonight. Um, Alec, can I suggest Alan. that we do the song now? No, no, that's a surprise. No. Um, first of all, there's a present I want to give to you right now. This is a new regular section of the show called Alan's Big Pocket. In this section, I put my hand into my big pocket and I produce something I think my guest will like. So, will you now please bring on Alan's Big Pocket? <laughs> Let's turn out Alan's Big Pocket and see what's in it. It's two Victorian dogs. This one's, uh, this one's Sherlock Holmes, this one's Queen, Queen Victoria. <laughs> now, uh, Gina, when, when I was on the phone to your manager in Los Angeles, he, uh, he happened to mention that you loved collecting Victorian dogs. Voila, two Victorian dogs, courtesy of Alan Partridge. Victorian dolls. What? 
I collect Victorian dolls. Not Victorian dogs? Well, what are Victorian dogs? I have no idea. No. <laughs> I, we thought it'd be something like this. Do you, um, do you like dogs? Well, uh, I have a cat back home. Does, does, does it like dogs? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> right, that's a bit of a problem because we've got two dogs here. Um, listen, why don't you take them with you in the car to Earl's Court, see if you like them, and if you don't, um, you know, just let them out near the railway. Line. <laughs> well, they'll, 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 they'll find their way back to Battersea and they'll be warm enough in all this gear. <laughs> well, you give them a sporting chance. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, I can't. I can't do that. All right. Okay, we'll do it. Um, get, get rid of the dogs. Right, ladies and gentlemen, two dogs. Two dogs. <laughs>